Okay, for this chapter scales, we're going to be talking about the Mixolydian scale and the blue scale. The Mixolydian scale is a mode based off of the major scales and it's based off of the fifth note of the major scale. So it's basically a major scale with a flat seven and that's what gives it the connection with dominant seven chords, which we're talking about. Okay, for our C Mixolydian scale, let's talk about the notes. It's going to be C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C. And that B flat is our flat seventh degree right there. And if it was a B natural, that would be your, your standard major scale. Okay, now three lead up notes to get to the note C. On our sixth string, we're gonna go three, five, six. Okay, now we get to our note C, and that's gonna be a three, five on our fifth string. We're gonna go two, three, five on the fourth string. Two, three, five on the third string. Three, five, six on the second string. And then three, five, six, eight on your first string. And that's our second octave C right there. Okay, now taking it back down, we'll go six, five, three, first string. Six, five, three, second string. Five, three, two, third string. Five, three, two, fourth string. Five, three, fifth string. And then if we want to take it all the way down to our lowest note, we'll have our six, five, three on our sixth string. Okay, I'll just be starting this one right on the note C. And I'm gonna play um, the four basic rhythms, quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth note triplets, and sixteenth notes. And then we're gonna bring in a new rhythm too for this chapter. Okay, now for quarter notes, I'm just gonna play one on each note. One, two, three, four. Okay, for eighth notes, I'm gonna play this with the click. You can do two on each note or just one on each note. I'm gonna do two on each note. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, for eighth note triplets, you could do three on each note or just one. I'm gonna do just one on each note. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. <laughs> okay, for 16th notes, you could do one on each note or four on each note. I'm gonna do four on each note. One, two, three, E and a, four, E and a. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna incorporate our new rhythm for this chapter. It's the eighth note with two sixteenth notes on each beat. They'll sound like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a. Okay, now for number one B, we're just gonna do our C Mixolydian scale one octave with that rhythm. Okay, now to pick this rhythm, I recommend a down, down, up on each beat, or you could just go all down picks for every note. I'm gonna do a down, down, up. One and a two and a three and a four, and a. Okay, I also recommend to go up two octaves with that and take it back down. I'm gonna go ahead and do all down picks for two octaves this time, and I'll do it with a click. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. For number two, we're going to look at the C blue scale. I want to point out that blue scale, 
and the Mixolydian are both good choices over dominant seven chords. They're both going to be a little bluesy sounding. Okay, now for the blues scale, it's basically going to be a minor pentatonic scale with an extra note in there. It's going to be a flat fifth. So what we're going to have in this scale for our notes in the key of C is going to be a C, E flat, F, G flat, G, B flat to a C. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and lead up with two notes on our little six string. We're going to have a three and a six. Okay, now we get to the note C and we're going to go three six on your fifth string. On the fourth string, we're going to go three, four, five. And right there is our fourth, flat fifth, and our fifth. And that's the only difference between the minor pentatonic and the blues scale is that one extra note. On the third string, we'll go three to five. It takes us to our first octave C. On the second string, we'll go five, I'm sorry, four, six, seven. And then on the first string, we'll go three, six, eight. And there's our second octave C. Taking it back down, we'll go six to three, first string. 7, 6, 4 on the second string, 5 to 3 on your third string, 5, 4, 3, 4 string, and then on your fifth string we'll go 6 to 3. And that takes us down to the note C, and if you want to go all the way down we'll go 6 to 3 on your sixth string. Okay, now just starting from the note C, I'm just going to play quarter notes for this scale, but I do recommend also work your other basic rhythms. So here's quarter notes, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now I'm going to put our new rhythm on the C blues scale. We're just going to do one octave, and this is going to be the one, and the two, and the three, and the four, and the... Okay, I'm going to take that C blues scale up two octaves with this rhythm, and a three, and a four, and a... Okay, now for number three, we're going to go into some different ways to play some sequences with our scales. We've already talked about thirds and groups of three. Now we're going to talk about some groups of four and some fourths. Okay, now to do a group of four, we're going to basically climb up four notes and then backtrack two notes and go up four notes from there. Backtrack two notes, go up four notes from there. And so on and so on. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, now I also recommend take your groups of four up two octaves. So here comes two octaves. Three, four. Okay, for number four, we're going to descend in groups of four. I'm going to just do one octave here. Three, four. Okay, I also recommend do two octaves, descend in groups of four. Here, one, two, three. Okay, now for number five, we're going to do fourths. So we're going to use some intervals here. I'm going to hit the first note and jump up a fourth from there. So I'm going to skip the next two notes and just go right up to that fourth. Okay, now I'm going to go to my next note and do the same thing where I'll jump up a fourth and so on and so on. Okay, here comes fourths for number five. One, two, three, four. Number 
six, we're going to descend our fourths. One, two, three, four. Now, I always recommend to jam your chords in your scales for every chapter. For this one, we have our dominant seven chords, and you could use the mixolydian or the blues scale. I'm going to go ahead and jam on a C7 chord and then play a little C mix and a little C blue scale. We'll see what happens. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 